Hello and welcome to this new edition of the Council at a Glance, the June edition. I'm Gisela Forcier, Communications Manager in the town of Brown Lake, and I'm with Mayor Mr. Richard Bercon. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Good day, Gisela. How are you? I'm great, and uh, we're in the month of June, but it doesn't feel like it, but no. we'll take what we get. We can't change it, so we better get going. We got a yeah. five subjects, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first uh, subject, Mr. Mayor, the, there's a personal uh, movement in the town of Registry and Legal Affairs uh, uh, with the departure of Edwin John Sullivan and the nomination of Owen Falcaro. That is correct. Um, Mr. Sullivan announced uh, back three or four months ago that uh, he tendered his resignation at uh, probably the 21st of June. And uh, I would just like to uh, comment on uh, Mr. Sullivan. I'd like to thank him for his seven years of uh, work here in the town of Brome Lake. He was a person who was very meticulous in his work, but very loyal and devoted. And uh, we appreciate that and we appreciated him. So it was great working with him and uh, we wish him all the best. And for us, I had worked with him for six years since 2000. 13, the first council and my first mandate. So, you know, it's, but uh, he made other choices in his life and he's going. And so last night we, uh, we announced by resolution that we're hiring o Owen Falcaro to replace him. Owen is a, is a local here for the last maybe 15 years or something like that. He has a private law firm, law office himself. He works by himself is situated here on Lakeside in the front and uh, we meet him all the time and it's great and uh, we welcome him to our team and it's great to hire somebody local and uh, so that's great we're all very pleased with it. Yeah also Mr. Mayor the council mandates the town administration to explore possible avenues uh, related to glass recycling. That is correct while well, we're I mean, we're not following the lead of uh, other towns. I mean, we know it's important that all recycling should be at the best 100%, which it's not. And uh, Bromont and Council have already installed containers on their property, one at Super C and the other in Bromont. And uh, we've decided to do the same thing. So keep your glass here, please, because the tonnage belongs to town of Brome Lake and we get uh, money back for the tonnage. But we will be installing it in the next uh, month or so. And uh, we could either buy it or rent it. So we're exploring those two. And uh, we're hoping uh, it would be probably placed, let's say, at the SAQ, who uh, have agreed with another councillor, Lucy Gagno, who went to see them, who took the initiative. And um, they agreed to no problem. They would be happy to install the container at the back of their parking. So. We're moving on with that, so don't forget, uh, we will be uh, acquiring a container, either renting or owning it. Yeah. Also, Mr. Mayor, the elected officials have taken note of the new bill for the services of the Sûreté du Québec. Yes, that is correct. Um, in 2018, uh, I'll have to look at the numbers here. I know them basically, but uh, the, uh, the factor, the bill for the uh, service of the SQ in 2018 was 1.95 million and in 2019 it was 2.094 million. We had a financial assistance in 2018 of 135 which reduced our bill and we had a uh, uh, financial assistance also of 219,000 this year. Those, only, those are only the two years that we've had the assist, financial assistance from the government Next year, the bill could be 2.1 million with no financial assistance. That's why it's very important to keep in mind that having the service of the police from Bromont would be a great acquisition, not just in service and, um, and the perception of visibility and all that, but also the fact it would reduce our cost possibly around five to $600,000, depending what the bill of the SQ would be in uh, in 2020. Mm -hmm. The town is providing a financial contribution contribution of uh, $7,500 uh, to each of the two schools on uh, Lac Bronte territory. <clears throat> yes, that is correct. Each year, um, a couple of year, number of years when we first came in in 2013, the contribution was 10,000. 
We reduced it to 7,500, but we've continued contributing to, they have to present a project. And this year, the, both schools have prevented a, uh, presented a project, which is great. And uh, it's great to help the young, the young uh, children. As you know, governments keep downloading onto the municipalities and onto the uh, taxpayers. And, uh, but I mean, it's our children, it's our future. So it's great to be able to contribute to them. Yeah. And finally, Mr. Mayor, the council <coughs> assigns a surplus to the downtown uh, revi revitalization project. Yeah. You said that good in English, eh? <laughs> I have the problem in French, but you have it in English. But yes, the revitalization of the Centreville, the, the center of town, is uh, one of our priorities in the strategic plan. Of course, the quality of water in Brome Lake is number one. And is a big priority and also the revitalization here and the, including the dam and that. So we've contributed $500,000 out of the surplus um, to start with the um, management, the, um, the work or the, the idea of, of creating a, a public space here and develop, developing it with the uh, public market. So I mean, it's, it's great to be able to follow our strategic plan and go ahead in that uh, direction. Well, that concludes the June edition of the Council at a Glance. So, uh, Mr. Mayor, this month there will be uh, two uh, uh, national celebrations. That's correct. Yeah. There'll be the um, um, Fight Nationale, we used to call it Saint Jean Baptiste. Yeah. And uh, following that will be, of course, uh, Canada Day. And for the uh, the uh, fight national, I mean the soapbox derby, the the uh, the race here in front on England Hill, is a big attraction. If you come, you see how all the people how they line up the sidewalks and the the young kids how they participate. And then you have the at the Parc des Lions at the Lions Park, you have the Canada Day celebrations on July 1st, which is great. We're just hoping that my idea is that we get the bad weather now. And June, July, August, and September, we're going to get the great weather. So we passed a resolution last night in that sense that we're having good weather for them four months. So yeah. we hope we're able to do that. Yeah. Well, just a quick reminder, the next uh, council meeting uh, is set for uh, July 2nd, uh, still at 7 p.m. at Centre lac -Bron. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, thank you, Gisela. And... Um, Thank you, everybody, and uh, thanks great. Thanks for watching. Yes, yeah. yes, thanks for watching, and I hope it's very informative, as we, only, we don't have a lot of time doing it, but uh, it's great. I enjoy it, and uh, I enjoy being on CTV, national television, <laughs> watching the cars go by on the camera after, so yeah. great. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you.